How's it going, NPC Nation? Welcome back to a brand new video. And this video is kind of late, but, well, whatever. Um, it's going to be called Let's Talk About CM Punk's Return. Uh, I was going to do a longer Let's Talk than that, but I, let, I just have one t um, news topic that I really want to talk about. Because the rest of the news topics are kind of garbage. And another topic that I want to do is for another video, a separate video on that one that I'm going to do later today but so CM Punk's return two weeks ago oh a week ago is it two weeks ago I think it's two weeks ago almost CM Punk's return to wrestling seven years people have been chanting for CM Punk to come back seven years everyone's been saying we want CM Punk we want CM Punk and AEW All Elite Wrestling has finally said yes. Here you go. CM Punk's finally said yes. He's coming back. He came back. I think he's going to do good. I think he's going to do actually great. I think he's going to do as great as he did seven years ago. I think we're going to have Summer and Punk 2, but in a company that cares about him. I'm a fan of WWE. I am, but I don't think WWE really cared. As much as AEW will. Because AEW has more money to give out, you know. That family's rich. The, the Khan family is very rich. Tony Khan's dad owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. So, yeah. So, will we see another Summer of Punk? Yes. I think we'll see another Summer of Punk in PC Nation. Um, as AEW champion... His first match, I don't know if he's already had his first match, but his first pay-per-view match is going to be in Chicago against Darby Allen. Darby Allen is a great, great wrestler. He reminds me of the extreme wrestlers of, like, if you want to combine extreme wrestler with young talent. That's what he is. He's like Mick Foley, but young Mick Foley or a young Sting more. He's more like a young Sting because he paints his face. He's more of a young Sting than anything, but more extreme. He comes out with his skateboards. Like, he's a good wrestler, and I think it's going to be good. He calls himself the best in the world versus the best in the world. I think that is a great rivalry right there. But what's going to happen with that? Um, I really don't know. I really do not know what's going to happen between them. I cannot see it. I'll probably just search for the results after the match because it's on pay-per-view. I don't have options out there to, to purchase it. I probably can if I really wanted to, but I don't know. AEW is a very good show. I, I need to start watching it more if you're a wrestling fan. This is more, I really don't do just sports-related talk, but I love CM Punk. I'm a CM Punk fan. When he went to UFC, when he went to MMA, I was like, Really? And then he did he didn't really do good in MMA. I don't think he did good in MMA. I, I saw like his uh, matches, his fights. They weren't the best, but he's more of a wrestler. Like I said, he's more of a wrestling guy. That's where he belongs. In a ring as of Octagon. So I expect him to be champion in a mom couple months from now. Probably two like five months from now but seven years we've waited for CM Punk and seven years we got CM Punk uh, hopefully he sticks around for at least another seven years he, he is in his 40s but still he's still in good shape he is in a great shape and he would have probably still been in the company previous company WWE if they didn't screw him over like his pipe bomb said, it's going to be Triple H running the company, which is true. Triple H will run the company. He's already running it right now. As you can tell, NXT. NXT is very good. It does a good job. But if you're not a wrestling fan, you're not probably going to understand who CM Punk is. Some people don't know who he is. But I don't know, if you're a UFC fan, you probably know who he was. And UFC wasn't the best. But he's back where he belongs. My opinion. I wanted to do more news topics, but all the other news is just depressing to happen, and 
this video is late anyways because I don't upload as much as I used to, which I should, but you don't have that when you can't find the time to do something, you can't really do it. But uh, CM Punk, he did his gimmick that he did before the ice cream bars when he was doing that in 2011 at uh, TLC. So, yeah. I think it's going to be a good a good year for CM Punk and hopefully future years as well. And hopefully we can get that 4-3-4 again as an AEW champion. But we'll find out. We'll find out. There hasn't been a lot of AEW champions. And he, I don't think he's just going to jump right into it. It's been seven years, so we got to see if he's still got it or not. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, press the share button. Press like button, press red sign, subscribe button. I have a longer video out later today. It's gonna be not really ishy, uh, not really a uh, ishy, uh, ishy, <laughs> not really a bad topic. It's just something I want to talk about. Want to get off my chest. But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, press your button, press the like button, press red, press red sign, subscribe button, press the bell to stay notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.